You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Welcome back to Work Wednesdays. Now, today we're going to talk about the bound will and good works. Now, bound will, this is... It shouldn't be foreign to us Lutherans, but it kind of is because we, we use the language of everyone around us, and everyone around us will say things like, I use my God-given free will. Or even if you go to like a church potluck or a meal, it'll have a little basket there that says free will offerings. Now, the thing is this. We don't actually have free will. We don't. It's a bound will. We're either bound to the devil or bound to Christ. Remember, St. Paul, in a lot of his epistles, would begin by calling himself a servant of Jesus. This comes from a Greek word, doulos, which means servant or slave. He was literally calling himself a bond slave of Jesus. He's like, I'm bound to him now. He's rescued me from the jaws of hell, rescued me from the devil, and now I am his. I am bound to his fate. The fate of Jesus is my fate. His will is my will. His thought are my thoughts. Now, do we resist this all the time? Yes, we have that sin that corrupts us still. But the reality is, this shows that bondage. We still live in this world, so we're still enticed and bound to the things of the world. And yet in Christ, we're bound to him. And he's freed us. And that's the action of Jesus, is he's constantly freeing us from this bondage we have to the things of this life. So our bound will now, which has been redeemed, and remember we talked about redemption earlier. Redemption is that act of rescuing by means of a purchase. He's redeemed us, lost and condemned people, persons, purchased and won us from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil that we may be his own. So now all of us has been converted. Our mind, our hearts, our will has been regenerated in God. It's now bound to him. And faith now does good works. Our will is desiring those good works. So it's not us sitting there in the morning going, okay, what will a good work be today? Well, I'm going to do this and that. No, it's just we do them. We see someone in need in the same way Jesus saw us in need and did something about it. When we see our neighbor in need, we help them. You're driving down the road and you see a guy trying to push his car into a parking lot, you hop out, you help him push it. If you're a parent, you see a child with a dirty diaper, you don't go, well, I hope they figure it out. No, you change them. Our bound will lives in good works for the neighbor. It's just what we do. This is our nature. This is our identity are people who have been rescued by Jesus, who now live as Jesus in the world. Luther had a big argument about the bound will with a guy named Desiderius Erasmus in 15, 1524 to 1525. And Luther wrote one of his best books called The Bondage of the Will, or the he would call it a bound desire sometimes. So our desire is to do good for the neighbor. And Luther made this point, man, us, we, <laughs> are like this beast that is either driven by the devil or by Jesus. Now in conception and birth, the devil is driving us, sin is driving us, but Christ has come and knocked them off our back, knocked the devil off us, and now he steers us in the right directions, in the forgiveness of our sins, in the mercy he shows us, the love he gives us. And working on our will, that we now live out lives in good works. So this isn't to beat us up, well, if I'm not doing good works, that's not how you should think. Don't think, am I doing them or am I not? Just abide in the reality of who Jesus is for you. His will is to love you. His will is to forgive you. 
his will is to claim you as his own, that you may live with him forever. To give you the ultimate work of his atonement, that you may have life in his name. And when we abide in that, when that's our focus and that's our identity, the good works will come. You don't have to be burdened about thinking about them, have goals about it. We just do them. And they're usually really simple little things that you don't even think about. Just acknowledging someone, talking to them. When you ask your friend, are you okay? Or how are you doing? And they respond with, ah. And you actually dig in a little more and show that you care about their life. When you take the time to bear the cross with your neighbor, that's, that's a beautiful thing, and that's what Christ does for you. The bound will always lives in good works because our will is in Christ, and Christ is always doing that. So be at peace, y'all, and may the Holy Spirit grant us faith that we focus on Christ and what he does, and the good works will follow. God bless y'all, and we'll talk to you soon. 